Or maybe a Comet if he's lucky. Does get a good hit. Comet has to retreat. The double salvo from both armored units could kill it. Does kill it. everyone, this is Grayshaw17, and today I'm covering a 3v3 uh, submitted by a fan or patron. And since it's a 4k day, they're also a supporter of me in some capacity. So again, thank you. I have the uh, strategic zoom on to make sure I get the biggest environment possible for these climactic battles. Or at least the biggest space I can see, since GoTo likes to be like, I'm gonna zoom in and not let you pull out. No, no, I'm gonna pull out. Um, we got ourselves three OKW, two American and one British. Nino, Amayo, and Grayshaw151 versus American Hog, Martyr, and Lions. Um, yeah, this is Red Ball, so it's a laney map. So typically we'll see most likely a 1-1-1 one, 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 or a doubling up in one area so that way they can lock it down and then a refocus shortly thereafter. We'll see how it works in this case as the Sturm Pioneers are slowly moving on in against Rashlons, which... Now... Rashlon's not going to really put much of a fight, but they can, at the very least, be a distraction for the mainline infantry, in this case, the infantry section and the riflemen, which looks like it's going to be the base. It's like, they're not doing any deviations with it. Oh, wait. Hold on. We do have deviations. Awesome. Pathfinders. Cool. That's what Tonk's going. 151 is going base riflemen. Uh, Nino is going infantry section with the universal carrier. Uh, what are the Germans going? By the way, again, gotta give a shout out to the, the new portraits. Really enjoy how they look. Again, something fresh and a little bit different. Anyway, Volk Squad start. Lions going with uh, Punzful Slayers, which get very strong. You can go toe to toe with the infantry section once upgraded. And American Hog also going Punzful Slayers. Did they go same doctrine? They went different doctrines. All right, I like these guys. I do. Anyway, if you. Uh, like my channel and want to keep supporting it and all my different stuff. I'm on Twitch. I have another YouTube channel where I talk about movie reviews and also I have uh, my live stream channel, all of which is down below, so that way you don't miss anything. Anyway, tank traps being set place, so most likely it's a defensive position in case they need to fall back, even though there's cover right here, so I'm kind of curious to see how that fares. Kuba pulling back, and it looks like the Axis will hold the left fuel, while the Allies will hold more of the right infantry section. Moving on in, try to take out the Kubel. We'll see if he manages to kill it and then get escape. A T grenade is fired from Tonsful Slayer Squad, but he's going to continue to chase. I don't think he's going to get the kill, though. Tonsful Slayers are being picked off by the infantry section, but they're trying to kill the Universal Carrier. Kubel barely clinging on. A couple more shots. And the Kubel lives to fight another day. Well, the Universal Carrier, unfortunately, does not. But it was some heavy losses for Lions to neutralize that light vehicle. Meanwhile, Nino will take over this sector. We do have Vanguard operations, calls in airstrikes, and also a forward retreat point. A airborne, which is the reason why the Pathfinders, and infantry company. And I think I mentioned breakthrough, strategic reserve, and fortifications, right? Oh, great offensive. I always get those two mixed up. Dang it. Pathfinders in the little... Hut, okay, also on fire, on fire, a little bit on fire. <laughs> infantry section using those cinderies to great effect. Again, uprooting the infantry out of their better cover positions. Um, unfortunately, there are some infantry coming on in to help. I don't think the Volk Squads will win this battle long term. The Pathfinders especially have really good rifles that do better at medium to longer ranges. However, um, so even if they're fighting in that like long range combat they're still not high health so they can, still can't take a huge number of hits um which is why they tend to have a tendency to fight at longer ranges and be more support um although bar finder is pretty sweet uh looks like we have a small push kubel as well up to vet Punchful slayers did pull back i don't know if he got the wipe but it looks like at least both of them did get pushed back i'm gonna say no um we do have a captain so a uh was it at gun a howitzer uh, that is on the table. I don't think he's gonna get an, an AA, but we'll see. we'll see. Buildings have been made by the OKW, leading toward a medical. So support guns, uh, half track, etc., could be on the field very soon to help blunt the uh, Allied advance, which is taking over mid. We also have the assault officer. Again, I'll keep bringing this up because it's so so good. If you have not changed your uh, tactics to include assault officer as a British player, I don't know what you're doing because it is fantastic what they've done, especially with the upgrades. Meanwhile, Stern Pioneers trying to hold the line. Not going to really do much. We, looks like it, I think there's five man squads. No, he's just took some damage. 
It probably would be better if he got five man squads, judging by the amount of infantry he has, but we'll see how long it takes because right now uh, he may have to reposition over to the other side. Uh, American forces that have pushed on. Pathfinders will try to pick off the Volk squad. Kubel looks like he tried to do some damage, but quickly retreated. Though get, got the decap, so that's helping. Storm Pioneers being picked off, maybe? Trying maybe to run out of there with breakthrough tactics, but did not work out and easily got neutralized. Excellent work right there. And again, kind of a big deal because uh, every little pick early on does have a cascading effect. For example, in this, if he was to get a half track, he can't repair it now. He unless he gets another unit. So it's the small details that matter over time. And again, the the small battles that can lead up to a major victory in the end. Uh, saw officer very low, uh, but could you throw artillery or just chill out right there and throw a gammon bomb at the door? Or just doesn't retreat, that's fine. Gets up to veteran C1, which is a big win for him. Because again, you get this nice recon ability, which is super important for the allies to have some sort of recon. Allies as well uh, have a direct strike. So any Axis artillery, which we do know is an option here with the LAFH, uh, will be neutralized, right? It will be easily dealt with if they can coordinate. If they can make sure that that's just push to the side but a counter-attack and get some good grenades do force the allies back and uh, nice sniper shot takes a good chunk out of the kubel again sniper is on the field by uh was it uh nino so we'll see how much he fares in the continuing battles uh right now let's see uh, any fortifications anything on here okay so it looks like uh the guy over on this side is trying to put some cover down or at least our barbed wire but he isn't really placing anything oh there's a mine okay good i was gonna say build something especially if you have this entire area under your control kubel should also move up and it would probably be better if he used detection um again sometimes people can be busy and maybe they don't notice but detection is really good so you know when the enemy is going to attack you especially on a side that is more passive that early warning could be the key to victory uh in terms in also key to make sure you don't lose a lot of your men from a possible big assault um you know, like, for example, the British informed the Russians for months and months and months about the incoming invasion of Operation Barbarossa. And I'm glad that they took the time, they listened to their, uh, you know, other countries instead of just, you know, a guy saying, nah, it's not going to happen. And we're able to blunt the Axis advance uh, right before, you know, before things got too crazy, like Moscow possibly being uh, on the timetable or, you know, Leningrad being sieged, you know, something crazy. But anyway, right now we got, looks like, artillery coming down, I'm assuming, by the officer. Yeah, uh, yes, so the officer did coordinate fire, which is going to bring in the British artillery to push them back. Also, early detection deployed by the Americans to detect the Axis forces. So, really great to see there. So, again, the Allies know if the Axis are coming based on early warning. Sure, they can pick them off, but, again, it's still early warning. Grenade being thrown, but misses target. Again, Punk's Fusilier's upgrading might be a better ordeal. I mean, they're getting 53 munitions per turn, so they can waste one or two things with grenades. But the American forces are coming in pretty fierce right now, and it looks like the Punk's Fusilier's will be pulled back. FG section and American forces are all pushing in. They're trying to retake mid. What is this? Kubel, once again, going on in. Doesn't notice the uh, position there. But 50 cow open fire and will annihilate the Kubel. Nice little kill right there. More in mid. Middle is under allied control. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the blob pushed forward. Doesn't really have AT grenades or not AT. Uh, smoke grenades or normal grenades, so can't really stop it. Um, he's just going to pull back the MG and Lions will just continue to suppress him. Because, again, you're just, you're just setting yourself up for failure there. Um, now, the good news is... 151 has upgraded his men with bars, and as well, the enemy has upgraded themselves with Punch Fusilier, so that makes it more of an even fight. Uh, Cover-wise, it's pretty good, but with the Howitzer coming into play and the Sniper, the Punch Fusilier will have to pull back. Now, the question is, can he retreat to his forward point? Well, we know there's Panzer Headquarters right here. He is upgrading now, so as long as he can hold out for another few seconds or just walk back, he'll be able to be just uh, fine, activate the upgrade, and then just walk or normally retreat to that position but the same can be said about the brits they just deployed this glider and they can them they themselves can upgrade it 
and make a retreat point out of it. It is a little farther forward than probably I would care for. Um, I mean, I know I put medicals in this general area. The thing about, like, over here is the terrain that makes it a little bit harder to see. Here, it's a lot easier to see because it's just wide open. It's on a wide open field, which makes sense. You don't want the plane to take too much damage on landing. But it's, it's also, again, revealing uh, to anyone who gets close to it. So that might be something you have to watch out for. Half-track is on the field, but again, no Sturm Pioneer, so we can't heal it without allied help. And also, something to note, the Germans themselves do not have the ability for caches. So they are stuck with the resources they're given, so they really have to make sure that they are being very aggressive in grabbing resources, because in a resource battle, they're natively at disadvantage, right? They can't boost their income. So... We'll see how things fare. Sniper in harm's way. Artillery, though, is called in. Again, great range. And the sniper is trying to hold fire and get the heck out of there. Does camouflage himself, so good use right there. AT gun coming on in, hitting the half track. Again, damaged. And now decrewed and killed by mortar, I think. Yeah, by the artillery. By the artillery, sorry, that came in. Infantry section counterattacking. Great teamwork, but now we have almost a dot pushing on in. American forces are buying cover, trying to deal with the Oberst Sadaten. But again, it's a lot for them to deal with. And a good grenade, in this case on the Howitzer, fails. Oberst Sadaten is pushed back. American infantry with bars. I think it was like three bars right there. God damn. Are holding the line pretty firm. Kill the Stern Pioneer squad. Another great pick. Howitzer still trying to return fire, but the American infantry can't hold on for too much longer. He will retreat, but there is a uh, retreat point back here. But if the infantry pushes up and picks the low health infantry off right around the corner, it's pretty much GG in terms of all that infantry. Um, so again, we'll have to see how they fare. Huntsville Slayer is pushing on in. We can see a grenade here. It Grenade is thrown. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the howitzer. My apologies. I thought it was over the fence. But I'm assuming he knows where they are. I, I would have to assume. Luckily, it doesn't look like the American forces lost any infantry uh, in terms of the actual, like, full riflemen, but they did take some heavy manpower losses. So that might delay 151's uh, armor from coming out, because we know he has major, we know he has the fuel, so a Sherman would be on the docket, maybe a mortar carriage, although with a howitzer, less likely. Um, the Germans, on the other hand, are still fortifying, I think, additional fortification. Whatever you do, just make it hell for the enemy to push. Like, if you especially have time. So, and also, maybe even get the guy that is specialized in fortifications, which, weirdly enough, is the guy in mid. Which, hey, build anti-air, and he's trying to lock it down. Okay. We'll see if he builds artillery in a little bit. Um, if, if you could get him to put little tank traps and everything over here, just cut as much havoc as you can delay the enemy with, with fortifications, the better off you'll be. Like, I'll be, I'm actually surprised the Brits haven't built, like, sand traps or haven't got my... Uh, got 151 to come on over and build tank traps. Anyway, so it's a battle for mid. VP-wise, it's favoring the, um, excuse me, the Axis right now. And again, they retook mid, so they've been doing some great pushes. But population-wise, they are down. They're in the mid-40s. Allies are in the upper 40s. Barely, but they're in the upper 40s. I saw officer moving on in. They're bringing out commandos, so they'll just make it worse. Incendiary, again, great for pulling out of cover. Not so great at killing the infantry outright. Not like a bundle grenade. Again, we have another grenade, but forced him to retreat, which we know the retreat point's over here. He does probably need a medic squad of some type in order to heal them. Uh, my, my recommendation would be to get the medic squad because it is seriously very good uh, to just make sure your men are at top health. Both squads pushing on in, really trying to push against the Pathfinders. Uh, but Pathfinders have been upped with bars and are doing what they can to hold. Assault Officer as well pushing on in against the Volk. Does get it by a support gun. Very low, but will continue to advance. Dodges a AT. Oh, sorry. A Panzer Shrek shot. Commandos might be able to pick off a Punzful Slayer if they're lucky. Real Engineer trying to... Oh, no nope, he runs. Commando's very good uh, at close range, not so much long range. Although, give him Brens, that changes dramatically. Um, almost Sudan now trying to hold. Gets hit with a howitzer on retreat. And, yeah, they'll hold off their sections. But, I'll give it. I'll give credit where credit's due. The Germans are doing a very good job at, consi at consistently contesting mid. We do have a recon plane overhead. Revealing all sorts of good stuff. 
like the Fort of Tree Point or the Flak or among other things, uh, for, like all the other, uh, uh, sorry, the, the Panzer headquarters and everything else that's in its proximity. Maybe for a priest to come in, open fire? We do have a Panzer IV coming on in. Stuka as well is firing. I'm not sure where. More of a right to left. Doesn't really hit all that much. Sniper moving in to counteract the MG. Though, very risky getting that close. Uh, yep, he realizes that he's going to pull on back. So again, keep your distance. Pick him off slowly and then just advance. In worst case, drop smoke and push up the assault officer. Now, let's see. Uh, we got ourselves a Stuka, a Panzer IV. Uh, American Hog is getting himself a Panther. So, they have a good assortment. Axe is really going. And a very good assortment to make sure they can counteract any allied force at different stages. Allies have gotten themselves a Jackson. Nino has gotten himself a Comet. Again, Comet to Panther. Uh, I think the Jackson might be a bit of an issue for the armor. And actually, Mortar Carriages. Okay. Tonk is going motor carriages. Uh, very interesting to see. Also, double AT. So, at least he's covered. What he might do is want just a mobile force to go back and forth, seeing himself more defensive on the right and more mobile in mid-left, which is where his Pathfinders, specifically, that's all he has is Barfinders. Will actually, probably be a better terminology for it. And the mortar carriage. Mortar carriage under fire might be picked off here. It is picked off by a great Panzer four shot by Marauder. Really well done. That's a light vehicle down on the Allies front. Again, to keep the the battle in the Axis' favor, they're going to need those picks left and right. Uh, Barfinders are moving in, and again, uh, they're getting a good chunk of kills, so a solid work across the board. Meanwhile, a small Axis push, again, very close to the American base, and looks like he did make it easier for them to see it, judging by the ambulance position. So very curious to see how that fares as the Germans continue to push. American Hog really trying to do what he can to keep driving the wedge and decap that point, which is, again, getting more resources right now than the Allies are getting, which is a, a nice win. Like, in order to keep uh, favor and keep the resource uh, the resource float uh, from going too lopsided. Commandos uh, waiting. I'm assuming they're waiting for the pop Consulars to push, ambush them, and maybe take them out. We'll see. They're pushing on in, doing a first strike capability. Doing a lot of damage. Commandos push back the Punzful Slayers. Though G43s are hanging up at long range. Uh, they don't really have a counter to that unless they charge forward and lose a model or two. Panzer IV is guarding mid with AT support. So Jackson well, might have a rough time. But right now, Comet looks like it's going to be where we're going to see the main battle. Uh, as the Comet moves in against the Panzer IV. It's a fantastic shot. Though Panzer IV does pen. Panzer IV does indeed pen. Comet returning fire. Hits the uh, Volk Squad. Rifleman on standby. We have a grenade throwing incendiary on the uh, infantry section, which pulls back. Commando throwing a grenade. Impulse full salutes, pull back. But again, the three retreat points are really helping keep the Axis infantry on the front, bringing overall the VP down to about 100, just because the Axis consistently are pushing against the Allies. So Allies have a strong uh, army. It also helps the Germans can meet them head on. Because again, the Austere don't have that option for a retreat point. They have to retreat all the way back to base, which delays some of their assaults. A T grenade, possibly, against the Comet is a no go. Looks like he didn't do it. Panther, though, does hold back the Comet. Um, small Suka strike on the right does hurt some of the support equipment, though, doesn't kill anything. Uh, Mortar Carriage and 50 Cal is over here still. Smoke was dropped, so it looks like Lions is really trying to be a little more aggressive at decapping the fuel. Although it looks like it might take some losses from those Mortar Carriages, which is going to be a mobile, annoying pest for him to deal with. Though I think one that he can still manage if, well, uh, if he could uh, RD it or possibly call it a strike. Uh, again, you have the uh, Saw Artillery, which could break it up. You could do uh, a mo fast moving armor to try and neutralize it rather than artillery. Though, Suka, if it gets great uh, spread, could easily do a lot to those, if, especially if they're already weakened. Rifleman trying to hold against Volk Squad, throw a grenade, forces them back. And again, German forces being very good. Support can 10 kills. And right now, it's just a battle of attrition in mid. And this is a battle of attrition. The allies are actually not necessarily faring the best of. Though, Rakan Whiffer was decrewed, so got to give it a, a credit where credit's doing that one. Bottle Grenade does stop the infantry section from capping that AT gun. 
it looks like there might be a push on left. Though Jackson is on standby in case any armor comes in. But mostly I'm seeing infantry. I don't... Yeah. Again, Germans still holding mid. Population-wise, allies are in the probably upper 60s. Axis are in the lower 60s. But still faring pretty well. Um, Comet trying to hold, but it is down to like a third of its health. Anyway, uh, continue the assaults push in. MG34 was lost in the advance. Uh, bar finders might have picked them off, I assume. So they might be able to grab a free MG, though. I have to worry with the support gun. That too, only one kill, huh? All right. All right, buddy. <laughs> Guys, I have tons of experience. How many men have you killed? One. All right. Well, German army's kind of kaput. You're, you're, congratulations. Oh, nope, you're dead. I was going to you know, promote you, but, you know, you're dead. Uh, mortar carriages doing some great work counteracting the uh, support guns. Meanwhile, possible push on the left. Panzer IV and Panther on standby. Though Americans didn't have any cover. Daring the infantry to advance. Or daring the armor. Jackson moving in to fire. But again, the bush is stopping him. Probably needs... Oh, he, he tank trapped it. Oh, he made it easier. Okay. So, tank here would have been great. Now, here, it's a lot harder because he's closer. And the AT gun is just lining up a shot. So, 151 actually kind of made it harder for himself. So, yeah. Looks like uh, fire was called in on mid, or it's incendiary. Um, infantry section advancing, though not upgraded, which is also a little weird. Artillery called in, put, kills three models of the Volk. Though again, infantry section brings another model down. MG opening fire with arm piercing rounds to stop the decap. And yeah, he'll suppress maybe enough to where he can, yep, okay, stops the decap. And that way the VP is only about 130 down. Rather than, you know, everything else. MG forced back. Panzer IV pushed back. Pack 4. This could be interesting. Pack 43 can fire through obstacles in a great spot. The big issue would be the mortar carriages. The mortar carriages stopping that Pack 43 from tearing the allies apart. Because we know they have a Jackson. They know the Comet. And they're being forward facing. If the Axis can take advantage of surprise, they could really do a number on the allies. And the allies might be walking into the trap right now as the Comet moves back in. Again, he's like, I can, you know, I can deal with the Panzer IV. For Ken, we're for... And Pack 43 set up. Returns fire. Gets a, like a third of its health knocked down. A single blow. Push back. Not like a crippling blow, but it's enough to keep the Comet off mid. Which will be a one more thing. For the Axis. The Axis really need to hold the VPs. They continue to win this game. Not lose men. Not lose men, Lions. Oh my god, Lions are losing a lot to those mortar carriages. So the right flank might be a little more open than previously thought. Air support can also be called in with Nino getting the kill, which shot them enough to get to bet two. A 151, I believe, got a priest. He has. And he's hitting where? He's hitting the medical. Oh no. Great shots right there. Also, time on target. Neutralized pack 43. So, one, two, three. Allies doing a fantastic job at knocking out a lot of the support structures that the Axis once had to keep them in the game. Uh, retreat points, some frontline men, and uh, some good uh, fortifications, which is turning the tide. Uh, we can see here in mid, yeah, allies are doing well. They're grabbing mid, though Volk Squad's pushing on in. Commandos will get first strike. Uh, Gammon Bob might be an option. They throw it. Volk Squad can be hit. Lose the model. Down to two. Very low, but won't be uh, killed. Volk Squad on fire. Volk Squad going to drive them back. Smoke will deploy. And at least two squads were held back by one unit. So that's a nice little win. Though they need more infantry up. And it doesn't look like they have any available at the time. Though, I don't know how. Tonk got a support gun. I Sure. You're Len leasing. For Wait. Oh, the howitzers gain 5% range. I'm like, and support guns? No, no, okay. One can hope. Well, okay, so the Pack 43 might have not been a long term solution with time on target, especially uh, with a decent amount of resources 151 currently has to use it. But still has AT support and hopefully can drive the Comet back. Uh, great shot by a Jagdpanzer. So it looks like he does have a tank destroyer of some type in order to hold back the enemy, which is good. Although, I think another tank destroyer might be slightly better than the Jagdpanzer. I can't deny that a Jagdpanzer is a good choice right now. Because, well, yeah. 
Yes, it, like, he'll be closer to getting it, but he's still, like, another few minutes away. And that those few minutes could be critical in order to keep holding mid. Um, so it's a risk-reward scenario. I, I think he could save up and easily get more resources to then produce it later. Especially if he's, well, let's just say putting less in the men because he has less men. Support gun up to vet four. God damn it. Uh, infantry section trying to push on in. Panzer four trying to hold mid. Uh, doing the best they can. There's smoke being dropped on the MG to stop the suppression. Good work there. A bouncer out the front. More kids just like, uh, sir, we don't pen. We're not penning. Anyway, infantry section is driven back again. Artillery now coming in the back section. Comet trying to do what it can. But with the Agpons are there, I don't know how long it can keep. Oh, no, Jackson. All right. If the Jackson's there to drive the Panzer IV as well, the, the Allies should have enough. And look, Oh, great shot against the infantry. That's a, I think that's a squad right, wipe right there on the Volk squad. Meanwhile, again, we have this guy that's been trying to test the left, but did get smashed back. Though on standby once again. Again, artillery coming in. That's the problem with retreat points, is once the enemy knows where you are... Actually, funny enough, I know... Like, this might date when I'm recording this, but uh, I was doing some stuff, and on the side, I was watching uh, Skippy's game, and all of a sudden, I just see him chase down, like, eight squads with a unit, and and then uh, with artillery and other strikes come in, just annihilate most of the men. Even though they were losing, they annihilate most of the army, and I think they ended up winning that game, but at the very least, he wiped an entire army's worth of men, because he chased it back, already did at the same time, and, well, just massacred them, so... Hitting the retreat point can absolutely turn the tide of a battle. And very important to do so in a timely fashion rather than just, well, letting the enemy's infantry get too strong. And then you're in a situation where, well, I'm not forcing all of them to retreat now. Uh, this is bad. Though, German infantry is still coming on in, holding munitions. VP-wise, again, allies grabbed it, but it's still uh, over 100-some points uh, between the allies and the Axis. Um... Population-wise, though, Axis are in the mid-60s, where Allies, again, have gained a massive lead being in the low 80s. Low to mid-80s, I would say. Yagpons are trying to drive the enemy back. Does get that one. Volk Squad taking mid. And again, right now, it's more the Axis. Because again, at, the, the American players have pop cap. Right now, it's the Axis um, having, having to keep their men alive. And cause damage to the allies. Now, nice flare. At least you know what the axes have. Uh, we have a, a D crew. Oh, okay. So he's grabbing the munitions. Dude, you better run. You're about to die. Suka's coming in the mid. This could be a good white. Oh, we're engineer so close. He does get the Rakan Murphy. Actually, I completely forgot he took that or missed it. But he it, it's no longer in ally control. MG, fantastic work. Knocked out the MG with the mortar carriages. Double Comet now mid. We got three mortar carriages. Oh, all right. All right. I see how it is. Anyway, Comet's opening fire in the infantry, driving it back. Luckily, the this wall actually prevents the MG from dying. Comet's two, uh, well, outman that uh, Panther, two to one. We're going to need some serious armor to neutralize that. Though, maybe a kill right here could be a nice little win. MG section possibly being picked off. Again, not sure if he's doing it on purpose, but he could, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have the resources for it, so I'm going to say no. Nice MG run hits that. Rockets hit the Panther and knock out the support gun, too. Nice little win. Support gun. Main gun is knocked out. While airstrikes continue to rain down on the Panzer IV now. Um, that being from, what, the... Yeah, P-47s. So the rocket strafe. Allied armor. Comet doing what they can, trying to drive the Axis back. Air support stops the infantry in its tracks. Though goes down. Rockets knock out the Panzer IV. Oh, so close to knocking out the Panzer IV. It actually lives. Though plane goes down right over the Jagdpanzer. God damn. That's, that's a hell of a thing. You're driving and all of a sudden in front of you, a pl allied plane crashes. You're like, hot damn. Oh, well, at least our AA is working. But uh, that was not a good offensive overall for the Axis. Overall, Allied Air Support dominated the skies. And this is not bombers. This is more rocket runs. And the attack craft did work 
and easily pushed back the armor. Got some good kills on the infantry. Armor is in need serious repairs. And it would probably be a little bit of time for the Axis to become fully operational in to actually take them out. And great job with the mortar carriages as well. Just picking off stuff across the board. Really well done. Again, the more pressure and more manpower you lose, the less stuff you get later. Um, so right now, again, we have a Panther on the field. So no Yagtons or Yagtiger to speak of. Mar uh, Martyr is good on resources and okay for like another armored unit, but probably is going to save up. American Hog is closest to a heavy tank. Has gotten himself a Stuka as well. I missed that. But so now we have two Stukas on the field, which is smart. You want to start counteracting the allied uh, artillery and also infantry. And Stuka is a fantastic rocket uh, weapon to use. Now, uh, American Hog's Tiger could also be a big issue if the Allies aren't prepared. Now, American Hog is versing 151, and he does have a Jackson, as well as some AT backing him up, and some mines. Remember, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, utility car, right? Wait, hold on. Am I missing something? Am I missing something here? Because I see mines. It's an M5 mine, but Reshlons can't... American infantry can't build mines because they don't have the ability. Oh wait, no, no, I'm dumb. I'm looking at the airborne. He does. He does have mines. I'm just dumb. I was looking. I, I was. Imagine 151 is tonk. I don't know why, but no, rifleman can build mines, which is very important. So he can mine up his territory if they push. Stop the dance tracks. Doesn't look like he's gonna gain much ground though. Um, meanwhile, air support was called in right. Not sure what happened there. That might have. Yeah, I'm not sure why Peter Fort. Maybe there was a push over here. I just don't see it. Did anything die? No, nothing died. I'm not sure. So, uh, Panther being pushed back by the double Comet. Which now the other Panther's coming on in on the flank. Though Jackson now coming on in. Although some shots are bouncing on both sides. Comet really trying to drive that Panther back. Get some good hits in with British Artillery hanging around it. Dodges a shot. Gets a kill on the retreat with that unit. Comet, once again, dominates the infantry. Really solid work there. Yagpons are on standby to hopefully pick maybe the mortar carriage off. Or maybe a Comet if he's lucky. Does get a good hit. Comet has to retreat. A double salvo from both armored units could kill it. Does kill it. Good win right there. Panther needs to get out before they start losing too much. Uh, very low again. Push on the left. Allies in a really tough spot. If Axis had artillery or something, or airstrikes themselves, the Sucralis air support, that would be very good. But they don't. Uh, they do not have that ability. Though armor is pushing on in. Although, may have lost that armor. But, you know. If they can kill some allied armor, that could be a good win. That is a mortar carriage down. All right. Axis also artillery is raining down from Marauder. Getting some good shots on the infantry. P-47s once again coming on in. Drive some great strike. Oh my god, strafing support. Just smashing them in mid. Again, not really a ton of AA. Active? Is there AA active? He needs to activate AA. It's in the back. Come on, activate AA. Infantry section advancing. Uh, they are... No, he's still inside the range of some of the, the planes. Rockets hit the Panther. Panzer IV coming in. Artillery sitting mid. That would be the Assault Artillery. Another P-47 run uh, comes in against the Panther. While the British go in on the Panther. I'm sorry, the Panzer IV. Great rocket runs across the board. Somehow this commando lives. I have no idea how, but he does. Yeah. Great shots with the rockets. Panzer IV, though, does get to Vet IV. Though heavy losses on Marauder's infantry. Some serious losses. And again, uh, without frontline infantry, you're going to be in a real rough state trying to grab stuff. Like, you need to get stuff in order to really come back in a major way. But, uh, yeah, no, it's... Oh, boy. Anyway, it looks like we might have some lions going with a small counterattack. I, I think this is more probing than anything. Um, most of their armor is in... You know, repairing or a commission. See, so, so you have that. Uh, I 
Like, I'm just, I'm trying to think of, like, a situation, but it's like, you need to beef up your infantry. But the problem is the mortar carriages. The mortar carriage is doing a seriously good job with the riflemen. Uh, we start riflemen. Pathfinders. 30 kills? Uh, yeah, pathfinding the way to victory. God damn. Now, a uh, Comet pushing on left. Jackson backing them up, so the Panther's gonna have a rough time if uh, it charges, which looks like the Panther might be pushing on in. Also, because of the healthy munitions the allies are getting, and they have gotten a lot of caches with munitions. Zuka. Oh, okay. Knocks out the unit. At least it was something. Recon planes are going overhead, most likely for the priests. Again, uh, 151 can call on the priest. Also, good amount of resources by Tonk right now. Again, axes are definitely on the back foot, but that doesn't mean they're done. Oh, yep, medical's gone. Building another medical where the last one was. Not the smartest move. <laughs> Listen, if I build if I build this right where the last one was, you won't expect it. Don't look everywhere else. Uh, Panther forced back. Uh, right now, American Hog is essentially the... Wait, no, Lions has a good army. So he's re... Uh, they're about the same. One's reinforced. So they have something. It's just the mortar carriage is the thing that's really just annihilating him. And again, uh, Marauders, LFH was neutralized by time on target. Yep, there it is. It's dead. So if time on target is focusing on any fortifications, that's probably not the best way to go. Uh, what can you do? God damn. Comet's holding rather well. AT grenade is firing though on the weaker one, I assume. Knocking out the main gun. Yagpons are coming on in with the camera for force back, though decrewed by the the uh, border carriage. Panther driven back by the Jacksons. We'll be walking into a Rakenwer for if they're not careful. Comet advancing. Very ballsy move. But I feel like the Comet in this case is uh, kind of a situation where it's like, yeah, I don't really care. He's also upping it with war speed so they can charge. Pretty effectively and get out of there if need be. Rekanwerfer does hit the side of the Jackson, forcing it back. Panzer IV driven back. Uh, Pan uh, luckily, the Vet IV Panther made it out. It's almost Vet V. American Infantry does look like it took some hits. Uh, looks like 151 definitely lost some stuff from uh, artillery. Though, not too crippling overall. Uh, let's see. We got a Priest opening fire. Knocking out the uh, position with a creeping barrage. Suka, though, that one, only 10 kills. Uh, how good is the other Suka doing as well? 30. Okay, so they're getting good amount of kills with them. Maybe they just need some better intel at where the enemy is. Because that was uh, not... There was not much there. Infantry section pushing against the left. Uh, we have almost a dot, in the, but they're going to need a lot more. Again, right now, it's like, okay, what do the allies have and what do the axes have? And how can they change it? Zeroing could be a good thing if they can push up. American Hog, I'm actually really surprised, doesn't, doesn't use a bit more of his munitions. For smoke, to cover his attacks, maybe to uh, uh, call in the artillery upon the enemy. Because I haven't really seen too much. We have artillery coming in at zeroing. But again, without recon, it's essentially worthless. I mean, I, I guess the idea is push back the mortar carriages, so maybe not. Oh, Sudan trying to hold the line. Grenade tries to hit him on the retreat. Sorry, not happening. American Infantry doing fairly well. I have like 50 kills between the two. Again, we have the Priest opening fire, trying to do what it can. Almost killed the headquarters building. Very close to the, the Stuka, which can fire, by the way. Um, surprise? Okay, use the smoke, recon, and then use the Stuka, because you have a, you can get pretty close to just smash this. It's a perfect line. Um, look, I know that it's like, great shot, you can see, you're, you're omnipresent. You're essentially the watcher from, uh, from, uh, what is it? Uh, what if? It's like, you see all, know all. Uh, in, to be fair, thank you. You're very humbling for that comment. But, uh, what I will say is, it's not like the Axis don't have the ability to do that. They do. They have tons of munitions. You can absolutely do a smoke, see what the enemy has, and identify key targets. Uh, it's just a, uh, a factor sometimes people in the heat of battle forget. 
and I always bring it up because the more people that know about it, it can help you save your game, which uh, it's helped save me on multiple occasions, especially with the OKW when you can deploy half tracks, which also get recon as well. So if you don't have it with the commander, that, uh, again, recon is something super important. I prefer to have, especially if I have a bunch of tanks, which a lot of these guys do. Uh, which, by the way, Lions has rebuilt his army pretty well and is advancing, though Jackson and AT on standby against the armor. Here comes the P-47s, smashing the Panther back. Again, tank traps do prevent a solid treat option. Jackson might try to dive on in, though Panther looks like will escape. Suk coming down. Another airstrike coming on in. Rockets knock out the Panther. And the Suka barely lives as well. Yagpons are pulling on back. Comets coming along the side. Complete collapse. Where's the Axis uh, reinforcements? Because this Panther's over here. He's going to charge, I guess, in. But one, time well, one is well prepared. That's not going to do too much. Tons of planes overhead. Air support just strafing the Pathfinders. Yagpons are now being hit, which will reveal it for the other P-47s, I believe. So they'll break off and then come back in and smash that P-47. So, oh, never mind. There, it's recharging. They won't come in. Again, he did activate AA mode, so I'll give him credit. But if all the Axis activate AA mode, that would probably be very helpful to shoot down a lot more planes to stop those straight from coming on in and causing Aventy Infantry. Because that uh, Infantry counterattack just fell flat. It just absolutely fell apart. Meanwhile, comments are getting ready to push left. We have the Jacksons opening fire and push back to Panzer IV. And also the Panther trying to get some good shots in, but just cannot finish it off. AA is being brought in. Yeah, go figure on that one. Sir and Pioneer trying to help. We have a Firefly backing them up. AT gun as well. Oh, this is bad. Walking in, that Panther is going to be obliterated by rockets. Only one hit, though. Suka is firing. Not really great hit on the armor. Didn't do too much. Though, got to Vet 3, maybe. Or at least it is Vet 3, so it can fire from afar. Rather than trying to get closer and closer. Again, I feel like the biggest issue is that you have to knock out an army. Well, 151 has lost men because, again, the, the stubborn persistence of American Hog. Um, the tide has turned. Like, the VPs are slowly in favor of the Allies now, not the Axis. Gavin Bob drives back to the Sedan. Wait, is it finally happening? Oh, Priest very low. Great Stuka assault actually drives the Priest back, which will need repairs, and I'll delay it a little bit. Gives the allies a little more, I'm sorry, the Axis a little more breathing room so they're not being RD'd. As well as, if he's only going here, get the other Suka. My god, you could absolutely smash him across the board. And I think you could hit him from there, and you could be, like, right here. Like, I I, I want to say the Stuka at Vet 3 gets a serious range boost that, for this map, it, it's not too far. A little risky, but as long as you have a good infantry wave, you should be fine. Almost a Don as well. I'll upgrade with um, SCG-44s. I've been informed that they're not as great as people may want them to be. Um, and maybe better to go with the LMG. Though, they do get the fire on the move. So, I don't know. If they're being a highly mobile army, I, I could see that being a little better. But uh, I know a couple people who just look against them because of their DPS is not as suitable as you may want them. They equate, equate it to a Volk squad. Um... Artillery is coming down by the mortar carriages, which is doing some good work. Again, this building's about to collapse, so if this Stuka hits where I think it's going to hit, this might collapse. Or, no, it hits straight down the middle. MG's dead. AT gun's gone. Mortar carriage, bar well, half, one's half dead. They barely managed to do uh, both of them to get out of there before getting fully hit. King brings down the building. There goes an MG, though Tonk has nearly 2,800 manpower. My god. AT gun still on standby. Needs to recruit. Uh, again, bar finders uh, just killing it. Literally, they're almost, if not, uh, 100 kills. We have our we have some type of strike coming on in. Not sure what is the time on target. No, it's P-47s. And the planes hit the King Tiger, forcing it back. Meanwhile, in mid, 
some small pushes, but nothing too major. Artillery looks like it's hitting for the priest that might be in repair or just fa farther back. Which, again, it's like, I still want to help, but I can't go too far to the front. Let me at least do that. Comet's just doing a solid job of holding back the infantry. Opposedon, though, again, got, and Huntsville Slayer's doing some good work. Although, 151 is still like, regaining his front line army. Commando's pushing along the right. They've set up early warning. Again further across the map so they can detect what, what's coming and right now again sometimes you don't need this big decisive battle to turn the tide sometimes just a slow steady maneuver to just grind down the enemy and then go in for the uppercut panzer four gotta give credit though vet five vet five panzer four god damn that's a that's a hell of a thing to fight as a panzer ace uh, although technically a Panzer 6 is a Tiger, so uh, with a Panzer 4 Ace, I don't know. Anyway, Obsidian being shredded by the Comets. Infantry section also pretty low. No pull back. Again, trying to grab this point, but bar finders will stop him. Yep, they are all dead. Here comes Stuka, was part of the plan. Stuka hanging the art. Wait! Aw, oh, so close to the Royal Engineer. That would have been great. Vet 4, though, Jagdpanzer. Meeting four allied tanks. Uh, buddy, not the greatest maneuver. Great shot with the Jackson and the Comet. Jagdpanzer body blocking the King, waiting for it to die already. He decides to then run into the post or miss it. I don't know where the hell that Jagdpanzer's going. They have to put out its misery. Jackson. Gets annihilated. Great shot. The Comet coming alongside. Can they get? Aw. Uh, no Panther failing to kill the Comet. King Tiger, though, pushing. Has the four advancing. Jackson in the side now. Again, it's pretty weak. I would pull back. It's not worth it. And now we have zeroing. Too late. You need more infantry on the front. You need armor. You know, all sorts of stuff. It's just you're kind of pulling at a bad time. Gotta be honest. Could be a lot better. Jackson pulling back. There's the SR artillery. Oh, sorry, no, zeroing. Sorry, I thought he called in SR artillery. It's close to it, but not quite there. Axis forces are in the upper. No, low 70s. Allied forces, though, of uh, one zero pop gap. Uh, the other two, I would say like upper 80s. So still up in the lead. Commandos, by God, just holding the line. I get, the problem right now is is, is wearing down. It seems like the Axis are being worn down easier than the Allies are. Air support's absolutely helping. Uh, knocking out the fortifications with the artillery, as well as the uh, bases, is absolutely helping. It at least keeps this guy constantly microing his men to make sure he doesn't lose more manpower by our arty strike or keep losing his infantry. Um... Rifleman and Captain on standby. Sudan pushing mid. Again, got still give handouts to some of these units because they got some impressive kill counts. Or veter veteran C in general. Panzer, speaking of which, Panzer 4 moves on in. Just starting to easily hold back the infantry. Which might be the biggest problem. Versing a Panzer 4 vet 5. Though Jackson coming in against the Agpanzer. Come on, last shot. Nope. Okay. Oh, very close to killing the assault officer, though. Infantry section on standby. We'll have to hold that back. The able to Mortar carriages, by the way, have... Jesus Christ! They have, like, 60 kills. I don't think he... Yeah, he hasn't had... I, I would assume the allies would lose those pretty quick, or the Axis would dive them and neutralize them easily, or call an artillery or something, but no... Except for like an instance here or there, uh, they've pretty much been stable with those. We have recon overhead. Again, solid choice. Oh, sorry, not recon. What the heck? Oh, Panzer Commander, that's what it was. It was a major recon followed by a Panzer, Command uh, Panzer Commander artillery ability. I know my stuff, I knew what that was. Certain pioneers don't know what the hell they're being hit by and immediately retreat. 
commandos came on in to, yeah, smash them quite a bit. Missing the commando raid, hands before trying to help. But here come the comets. American Augs is based there cheap. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, you don't exactly have the manpower. Great Stuka, though, gets one of the Pathfinders. Although, immediately one comes up. Uh, 151 says appreciate it. Keeps putting in the same spot. Alright, King and Panzer 4. Again, King's gonna be outshot by two Comets. Gonna need fire support. Rockets, though, hit it. Does stun it. Air support is about to come on in. A lot of the Allied armor is about to be supported by... Uh, great rocket run, by the way, in the infantry. Here come the rockets. P-47 driving the king back. Doesn't kill it though. Does drive it back and also keep the other Axis armor away. But again, infantry-wise, actually the Americans are being pushed back. Vet 5 Obers are now guarding mid for, with their lives, trying their best to hold the position. Meanwhile, again, double comet still there with the Fireflies. Rocket seeing the Panzer IV. Crashes into it! Bringing it down a third. Oh my god. It's like we must kill the Vet 5 uh, the vet five at all costs. So, in case anyone's wondering, Kamikaze still can do damage. Mortar Kedge is still doing work. Small pushing on the left-hand side. Again, American Hogs trying. And once again, the artillery is coming on in. But if he doesn't move the Stuka, the Stuka might... Okay, thank God. It's like, at least he doesn't realize it before it goes over the entire headquarters building. And then, you know, gets there. Stuka does come on in. I'm assuming that's Lions. Which is, by the way, at... That 5, 49 kills. A solid Stuka. Yagpons are trying to help, but gets rocketed. Might die here. Oba Sedan pushed back. Not a lot of additional AT. King Tiger is just repaired. Oops, the Dotten on the run. American Infantry coming back, full force. Again, moving in left. There's another spot moving into the munition point. Again, I'll give credit. The Axis are doing very well. And actually, they're somehow in the mid-70s right now. While the Allies have regained and are in the mid-90s. And again, all of Tons Reserves. Axis kind of not so much. They really need a good hit. Though, yeah, another Yagpanzer. So, again, they just need some good picks. But again, Allies got another pick right there. So, we'll see how they keep faring. Great shot with the Jacksons, by the way, on the Panzer IV. Yagpanzer returning fire, though, hits a log. I feel like without the Pack 43 or the Yag Tiger, they just don't have the firepower. Again, not sure why the King Tiger was chosen. I, okay, no, I, I, I get it. If on his front, he's basically fighting Pathfinders and the Border Carriage. Yes, there is a Jackson, but it's not as prevalent as the Double Comets and the Double Jackson on the other fronts. However, you should think about your team, and a Yag Tiger might have been preferable to hold back the armor. Though, also keep in mind that uh, the airstrikes could have been uh, done a wonders on it but i still think yag tiger would have probably been better and also you lost another squad ouch again allies for the most part have been keeping a steady battle in mid and keeping the axis um losing on the pps ever so slightly but also border carriage uh suka great shot there almost killing the border carriage however uh even though i say all that um the axes are still trishing like hell and there goes another unit, I think, from American Hog. Nope, no American Hog survives. He just... Someone left their MG-34. All right. Whoever left their MG-34, what's wrong with these common sniping infantry? I mean, they're very... Okay, so the Panther's slightly better at bursting armor. The Comet is slightly better at bursting infantry, right? That That's the main purpose of these guys. Where do you want this Comet? Where do you want this Comet? Jackson misses, okay. It goes into the Stuka and vanishes. And no.
just no. I, I again, I feel like okay. So if I'm being frank, right? You're fighting a game in which you keep hitting mid, and you keep doing this over and over and over and over and over again. And to be fair, uh, it's it's not been going as well. Like infantry wise, the allies typically are better. Armor wise, the allies are better. Like you're not really giving yourself a lot of different opportunities to really change that aspect. And while you can push on right, well, no, you push on right. They only have a couple units here or there. Uh, double AT. Do recon, stuka them. Uh, again, I think a half track would be great for scouting. So you can see them from afar. If the allies can scout, you can scout. Everyone scouts. Jackson's opening fire on the Yagpanzers. Again, they have range. They can see it. And now we have double strikes. Also, rocket run, come on in. Cut. Again, the entire flank is wide open. I don't even look where the Stuka's hitting because it doesn't matter. I love the grenade being on there. Stuka's dead. Comet's just coming in like a champ. And these Comets just devastate the enemy. Oh my god. There goes Lion's entire army in one fell swoop. Air support armor just completely encircles them. Remember when I said that you should maybe focus elsewhere? That's making also sure that there's not a giant opening right here so that the enemy doesn't immediately just encircle you. Lion is now in a situation where a Yak Tiger actually could be appropriate. Um, because, I mean, what else are you going to get? Or is he just done? He might actually be done. Nope, he... Act of defiance, he's like. Alright, I'm done. Bring out the big gun. Let me show you what I can do with this Yag Tiger. But again, uh, give credit where credit's due. His ally is still holding the left-hand side. Rather well. Um, again, American Hog has a ton of fuel. And I'm surprised he hasn't gotten some additional armor. I'm not saying a Jackson... Uh, going against a tiger would change things that much, but uh, how do I what, do I, what do I say about this? Um, you could also get Yag Panzers uh, to counteract the Jacksons, or you could get yourself a half track for recon and that for, with that fuel, or if you want to get something a little more expensive, like a King Tiger. Though, like I, I don't know. I just feel like additional armor could be appropriate, at least in helping. That way you can gain the armor advantage against the enemy, and you could do a lot more work. Because the fact that, like, you can't... Actually, a King Tiger or Tiger would probably be very good against the infantry. Because if you wipe out the American infantry, that leaves a uh, like a huge opening right on the left. Right? And also the high explosive yield of a Tiger, King Tiger, could help bring up the defenses and other stuff. 151 builds. Comet trying to get the kill, but doesn't work. King Tiger trying to hold mid. Panzer IV, this Panzer IV, God bless its heart, has been doing so much. But alas, it does die. I may have jinxed it. I'm sorry, but you also charge like two comets and a Firefly, so not my fault. Um, Yag Tiger is in mid. Once again, you can say, well, great shot. He's, he's in mid. He's going to try to fight. And I'm like, okay, but he's literally by himself on this front. If the allies, which they very well could, do airstrikes and charge along this side, or I guess by the viewer, this side, like, if they push this way, it's done. Like, the axis itself would be collapsed in its circle. Which would be kind of hilarious in my eyes. Anyway. Yag Tiger repositioning. I think they're gearing up for it. Firefly on standby. Comet's getting ready. They have war speed. They can do it. Great shot with the uh, Jacksons. Are we about to see a maneuver? Because again, I could easily see Suka firing, by the way, hitting the back lines. Priest does kind of hit the Priest, more so the MG. King is trying to help in mid. Great shot on the Yag, fires through and hits the Firefly, though commandos are ready and lying in wait uh, for the Obsidian to charge. It gets revealed, unfortunately. And also, Yag Tiger is charging. 
Not sure why. What the heck? All right. Whatever. Uh, again, Lion's slowly rebuilding his army. And I'll give credit. The rest of his allies are holding strong, but Yagpons are in King Tiger. Pretty low. Martyr actually lost most of his infantry. I'm not, it's not looking great. Comet's moving in to help mid. Again, we have still American Hog holding pretty damn strong. Also, another thing that might be st stopping him is because, again, he has three Obel Sedan squads, and that's a lot of manpower to keep those men operational. So, if you keep doing that, right, and wasting all that manpower to keep reinforcing, while they might be winning the bat, like, in terms of, like, killing infantry, it's, it, the cost, uh, the cost ratio analysis might not be there. But who knows? 151 is still losing a lot of manpower, so it actually might be doing enough to 151 to be causing havoc. Great shot with the Yag uh, Tiger, by the way, with high explosive rounds. We have false Schme oh, paratroopers coming on in. Why am I saying false Schmegers? Paratroopers dropping into the scene of battle to grab mid. Uh, Tonk really trying. Recon going out. Again, uh, we have artillery that could be called in. Pants my course was killed from earlier. Now, uh, he's, okay, now he's focusing on the medical. And that's where also it's like, sure, you keep killing it, but, uh, I mean, sorry, replacing it. But if he kills it, it requires a lot of resources to get that back up. Rocket firing hits the Yag Tiger. Comets could move. They are gonna move. All right. No, they're gonna stay in mid? Really? Oh, here comes all the planes. Oh my god, the rockets. Well, uh, that's a bit... Oh, and there's the Jackson coming in. And a bit of swing and a miss. Oh my god. And the Panther goes down. That's all the Axis armor. That is... Uh, am I... Except for the King and the Yag Tiger in mid. That's all the Axis armor neutralized. And the infantry is being suppressed. God damn. Some infantry is fighting, but it's not all that effective. I mean, the air support's still there. Artillery's seeing the medical, so he just built that too. He doesn't have the retreat point um, upgraded yet, so it's like, all right. Cool. Can't even use that as a retreat point. Just wasted all that manpowered fuel. Okay, it's not that much, but for a guy that needs more armor, it's pretty impactful right now. Oh, the rockets. Oh, there goes the stern. What a rocket run. Also, do, have they gotten anti-air at all? I mean, they keep killing the Pants headquarters, so that's gone. It probably would be great if they, you, like, used the anti-air on there. Have they used it? Nope. Lion didn't use it. Oh, sorry. Lion used it. Martyr didn't. But no, that's going to be it. Fly goes by my face. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, thank you, Cat. Cat's on the move, though. She got it. Um, but anyway, again, uh, let's go to the after action report and see how that fared out. Almost a dot in 70 kills. So he was getting kills. Um, so good job with American Hog there. But also, what are we looking at? We got ourselves 151 with most damage. Tonk with top kills. Which, by the way, Tonk is Rifle, my editor, who wanted to submit this in. Great job, by the way. Um, solid game. On the Axis side, Mar uh, Martyr got 69. Enough said. And uh, top kills as well. So, good job. Um, Lions, not so much. He, you know, didn't fare bad, uh, very well. And actually, even though American Ob got a lot of kills with Sudan, his losses still were not positive. Um, and his damage wasn't that high as well. So, yeah. I, this one's a tough one. It, I think it's more just... Once you realize what in 5 1 was already in your base, American Hog, I feel like your top priority should have been trying to deal with that. Instead of pushing along the munitions, maybe circling around and trying to neutralize 151's uh, AT gun on the flank and maybe circling and killing his ambulance and stuff. Especially because um, if you're just going to let him kill your base, then you're just losing manpower and you just couldn't get more armor to deal with his armor. So that was the big issue. Um, 
I give credit for Lions trying to go for trying to attack somewhere different, but he should have had someone cover his flank or mine or something because he literally it was a perfect maneuver. He just like an entire army just got wiped. It was perfect textbook encirclement against the Germans. Uh, so yeah, I I I, I don't. I, I, I don't know what to say other than uh, great game, uh, solid game, solid encirclement. And uh, remember, if you have a replay, submit down below. I always need replays in my email or my Discord. Send it, and I will cover it on Sundays, usually between 9 and 12 o'clock in the uh, morning to afternoon Central Time. But anyway, this has been GrayShot17, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Hey guys, before you go, let me give a special shout out to Afria, Folkford, Joey G240, Balam, Ace, Tony B, Ion, Little Koosh, Samo McKinney, Seth Coopers, and Jacob Oswai. Thank you guys so much for your awesome support and generosity. If you guys want additional content, check out the links above. Otherwise, I'll see all of you next time.